Hello, it's Pixel Productions 100 with another Gas Mask review. Today I'll be reviewing the M45 Air Crew Gas Mask. This gas mask was implemented in 1996 after the Land Warrior project, but got its roots from the SIPE project, which happened from 1989 to 1992. The M45 came in two versions the land warrior and the air crew my type is the air crew version with the internal microphone and external microphone cord so it could hook up to the helmet communication system I was lucky enough to get mine in the box unissued that box is beside me it's not on the in the video yet but a clear indication of unissued M45s is obviously the lens stickers. Um, it being in the box, for one. Mine was made in 2010 by Warco. But the secondary skin by CMB in 1999. The size is small slash extra small. That seems to be... In my opinion, the more common size to find in these M45s. It also, you know, with the secondary skin as well, that also applies. It seems like extra small seems to be common. However, these were also used to fit hard to fit soldiers who can't fit the M40 or MCU 2P uh, respirator, which was also being issued at the same time the M45 was rolling out. And altogether, this, the M45, the MCU 2P, and M40 were replaced by the JSGPM in 2008. The M45 has characteristics all of its own, basically. Um, it's designed for one, can be related to the XM44, by then. At this, you know, on the other hand, it also completely branches away from it, having a primary voice emitter completely to itself and the secondary voice emitter. The XM44 had a primary voice emitter, which was adopted off the MCU2P slash M40 slash M42. But on this one, it's completely plastic. I'm not sure if you can take this off, but is also capable of having a voice projection unit. The secondary voice emitter is removable by the same method as the M40s or slash MCUs, but the design is completely independent of the M45. You use the D-ring on the carrier just to basically twist and take it off and then switch it. The exhale valve cover is also independent of the M45. I'm not sure if any other master even uses this. It has a rather rather lengthy drink tube, in my opinion, but that's a good thing. That's not a negative. Let's put that back. The microphone card is also moved from the primary voice emitter from the XM44 to the exhale valve slash exhaust system assembly you simply just plug in the cord here which then interacts with the internal microphone to go into the comm system in the helmet but these can also be found on the land warrior as well so basically it's one unilateral mask one mask for both systems which was the entire idea behind the sip project slash land warrior On the back of the mask, we have a standard C8R1 head harness, but it, it's not stamped that, but it's obviously a C8R1 head harness. This head harness has been used since the M17, you know, M17, E13, XM29, M40, MCU, you know, XM45, XM44. And if I haven't said it already, this mask as well, but there's a pull tab. 
There's also a pull tab. So, taking steps forward. On the inside of the mask, there is a internal microphone, or internal dynamic microphone, with the drink tube. I've noticed on, especially my M45, and some of the M45s I've had, one of the valves is plugged off. The left one is plugged off, but the right one isn't. And I don't understand that, because on M45s with resistive valves that I've seen on the XL valve assembly, those also have plugged off oral nasal cup valves, and I don't understand that. But on some XM44s, I've also seen the same. If anybody has any theories or the actual answer to this, please let me know. Then we have the hose. Basic 40 millimeter hose. Non-metallic. These brand new might be stiff to twist, but with a little work, these actually twist. I didn't know that, but... None of this is metallic besides the clip, but there are metallic hoses that are designed for the M42A1 mask, but, you know, that's specifically for the M45. Then, moving on, we have the filter baffle slash filter carrier. This was a shared item between the M42A1 and M42A2 and the M45. Basically, what would happen is, is that the user would unscrew this. And place the filter in here. Of course, you push out all this and then put the filter in there with the threading facing that way. And then, this would be sort of like a rubber bumper. And you would put that back on. And you would put the GPFU coupling onto the top there. And it would attach to the vehicles or air crews supply system. Air supply system, yeah. Moving that out of the way, we finally have the manual. The M45 chemical biological manual. Mine was from May 1998. It has a lot of good information in here. A lot of information about the accessories or the optional accessories that would come with it. PMCS, optical inserts, care for your mask, etc. And then we have the tinted lenses. These were not open when I got the kit. I actually opened these. And for demonstrative purposes, I'll be applying these to the mask. Just so you know how to on your M45 if you have one. So what you want to do is be because these are just plastic, they don't have rubber aprons. These are snap-on, so you want to make sure you're, you're careful, don't roughhouse these. You could come from the top and then simply just push in like that. And this saves a lot of time in plying the outserts. You see how fast that was? There's a little groove on top of there. You want to, you could come from the top and then just snap it in. And then the same applies with the other. Just come from the top. And then snap it in and then to take it off 
you simply lift up and that's that now with the carrier this carrier was specifically designed for the m42 slash m45 gas mask to give the user more space for the mask because in the older generation carriers they just simply didn't fortify the need for the space for the hose hood and the filter baffle now this this is more than enough space for the m42 slash m45 it facilitates a whole sport right here basically the user rips it open and the hose would run in to the filter carrier and when not in use you could just simply put it back like that and now this I am not sure what this hole is for or this pocket I thought this was for maybe an NAAK kit or atropine kit maybe for papers I'm unsure then you have a pocket right here, a stowaway pocket for the additional straps for the carrier. Other accessories that came in the box were the clear lenses and the canister baffle assembly. This would go on the, obviously, the filter baffle assembly, but I'm not going to demonstrate that. Altogether, this kit would be generally what to expect in an unissued aircrew M45 kit. Plus, plus the box and the plastic that would generally be wrapped around it and whatnot and the C2A1 filter. There is also, oh, I almost forgot to mention, there is also a chemical biological hood for the M45. I did not open this yet because I am left to believe that this is a pretty hard to find accessory for the M45. I don't, I don't see these being sold individually too much. So I was lucky to get mine put in with the M45 aircrew kit. So that pretty much concludes the review of the M45 Land Warrior slash Air Crew gas mask. If you liked this review or have any suggestions on other masks to review, or if you would like me to s review a mask that I don't have yet, uh, suggest that in the comments. Subscribe, like it. Um, if I'll try my best to upload more content. And thank you.